I have two mouses, the Rocket Coin Pro Air and the Model D Minus. And in this video, I wanted to compare them both to see which is the better valued mouse, the Rocket Coin Pro or the Model D. Alright, so first up we have the Rocket Coin here. The Rocket Coin is an interesting mouse because I have the wireless version, which is the Rocket Coin Pro Air, but it is really light, 75 grams. Comparing it to the Model D Minus, I think that's it's around like. 59 grams around maybe 66 grams uh, one of those numbers this is not that much heavier to be honest compared to my model z the clicks on this mouse feel really nice and like satisfying to click like when i'm butterfly clicking it feels really really nice there's a guy here full diamond armor um let's just see if we can just you know like we're kind of destroying not gonna lie get out he's not clutching there right <laughs> goodbye goodbye sir Comparing the price of this mouse to um, the Model D, I bought this mouse for around £58 and then I bought my Model D like three years ago, I bought that for like around £50, so a £9 difference, not really that much to be honest, they're kind of close. One thing I do really enjoy about this mouse is the um, wide clicks that it has so it's really easy to butterfly, like right now when I butterfly I'm, I'm able to get a good amount of CPS because of that, I can fit my two fingers comfortably on it and we are rolling this kid, where does he think he's going? You, you come back here sir. Wait, did we win that? No. <laughs> How did I die like that, bro? All right, so yeah, we're using the Model D minus right now. Now this mouse feels really, really light. Like it felt like one rage, and my mouse would just go boom. The lightness of it is a pro though, because it does help your aim to become a bit more steady, in my opinion. Which is why I never really bought a mouse other other than this for like a couple of years, because this mouse is just it it did it did the job. Like it was really good. I'm not gonna lie. But then you know Namaki grew up and this mouse got too big for his hands so I had to kind of buy a new one and goodbye sir. I'd say build quality wise the Rokat Coin Pro does take the edge here because it feels more hefty in my hands. I don't know if that's a pro or con in my opinion because it could go both ways like maybe like lower build quality equals equals to like maybe higher CPS I don't know how it works. Uh, but there is a whole battlefield here and I do not like this so I'm currently gonna go. Please no, please no, don't. Don't, don't interrupt my video, please. I'm actually getting teamed on, bro. All right, all right, they left me alone. I'm gonna hide it. All right, now more, more about this mouse. It weighs around like 59 grams or 66 grams, as I last said. It is a really good mouse. Like even in 2024, this mouse still holds up really, really well, to be honest. And the clicks are really nice. Uh, the mouse shape is like the Model D is like the, I'm pretty sure the Model O is like more of an ambidextrous mouse, but the Model D here is more of like an uh, ergonomic mouse, which is the same as the Roca Coin Pro Air. Both of these mouses also have software that allow you to um, turn your debuts time to lower. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the Rocat can go to zero, uh, but the Model D minus can only go to around four. But it really doesn't make a difference. Like I, I, I can still get what eight, 90 CPS there. It is really does not make a difference at all. But now the last person is here. Watch this block trap, guys. W block trap. <laughs> oh, they have snowballs. Wait, do I win this? They have full diamond armor, so I might not win. Oh, I no, bro, <laughs> no, man. All right, so my verdict for the mouse comparison: uh, the three main factors are build quality, CPS, and also how it feels in your hand. And in my opinion, the Rokat Coin Pro it takes the comfortability and also the build quality side, but the Model D does take the CPS side, which means be able to get more consistent, higher CPS. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I know my upload schedule isn't really too good right now, but hopefully my uploads can be more consistent. And yeah, peace guys.